Last time on Rockin' the Oldie. Two Calcinites. Three Aquatoids. Molecular control attacks. One soldier under alien control. It just got brutal. Greetings and salutations to the denizens of the Cyber Dog Nation, the Redditors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the peoples of YouTube and the interwebs. This is Ivan Dogovich rocking the oldies with the 58th episode of Let's Play Retro XCOM Terror from the Deep. Last mission, folks, we found our way to an idyllic cruise in the South Pacific, traveling on the love boat, as it were. This poor cruise ship off in the tropical waters near Fiji has become infested with alien scumbags and our mission is to kill the scumbags and save the civilians and it's yeah <laughs> if you have not watched the last episode go back and watch it because it's uh it's pretty intense we are we are at the point where we have uh, just about completed, I believe, our second turn here. Um, the major issue that we are facing is that this ship is full of hidey holes and we are facing aquatoids with MC attacks. Uh, unfortunately, one of our fair soldiers is under the control of such aliens and we tried to stun him and it didn't work. So we are going to go ahead and see if there's anybody else. No, let's go ahead and hit next turn. What's he going to do? Waiting. Somebody threw a grenade, it looks like. That was an attack. Another attack. Oh, D's. <laughs> mm, poor D's. Boom. Okay, there goes a civilian. Okay, so D's is under attack. So what we have to do... Um, to minimize the risk that we are facing from these our fellow soldiers here, the ones that are under control. Wow! I was just looking at. Um, so this is Vasily. He was under control last turn. We did him twice with a stun rod, and he has no stun damage in his health. This will turn a little purple as he gets stunned. That front armor completely protected him. So what we have to do with poor Vasily here? is we have to disarm him, basically. Um, I'm gonna drop his grenade. You can carry a stun rod in your backpack, and why don't you toss your weapon over here to Nightmare, and Nightmare can carry that extra weapon here. Swap that over. Wow, so yeah, this we've got these under alien control as well, so that's kind of a pain in the neck. Anybody? Okay, no. Anybody in this in this in this here bedroom? No. Okay, so Alice is fine. Cassie, okay, come up here. So here's the here's the other thing. These missions, because they're so stinking grueling, I'm really considering using fast forwards to allow us to get past a lot of the tedious parts. What I mean by that is, what I would do is I would, what I would do is, if we do not have an enemy in sight, I would uh, kick it into fast forward in post production, and then bring you back once we have made contact and deal with the enemy again. So. Uh, it, it's going to be a lot more post-production work, however, it will allow us to get through this mission maybe more quickly, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, just because of how long these these things are. I'm going to kick it into fast forward, and um, when we spot an alien, we'll be back. We need to take Mr. Bad News down to the service elevator and have him check out this door here. Okay, that's what I thought. This was probably the guy that came down the stairs. We've got some aliens in the kitchen, and they're not good cooks. Four giggles. We have, uh, Dulakabop. 
why don't you use your MC reader, please? And give me a read on this guy. Aquatoid Soldier, don't care about you. And how about you? Aquatoid Soldier, don't care about you. So, Mr. Bad News. Oh, I'd love for you to hit these shots. Nice. Oh, and a Calcinite. Lovely. Hmm. Up you go. Over here and look that way. Oh, look that way. Boy, I hope that doesn't come back to bite us in the bottom. Um, nightmare. All right. We gotta get some more guys in here to help clear the kitchen, because Mr. Bad News doing it on his own is not really gonna work. Vasilis, you can come on out the door. Okay, we've cleared this stateroom. All right. Nightmare, buddy. Chibi. Hmm. You've got really good aim. I think I'm gonna bring you out here and put you up on the deck. That's a weird little artifact. I don't think that was there before. I'm gonna put you up on the deck and let you maybe snipe from a distance. Okay... okay. Uh, Rowanna! Yeah, oh yeah, Rowanna. Okay. Bro, look here. Good. Okay. You can help there too. Alright. And next turn please. Wow. Turn six. Getting shot at, getting attacked. And maybe actually a fourth aquatoid. Okay, Deez is panicked, which is fine. Now a lot of times panicked guys drop their weapons. Okay. Uh, Mr. Bad News. If you would do me the favor. You survived. The Calcinite didn't come after you. That's good. You go back downstairs. Take a look back out here, please. Okay, so the Calcinite walked around, and there's another Aquatoid here. And we have an Aquatoid down the stairs. Now, he shot up the stairs, or did Warzone shoot? Well, anyway, Warzone, if you would do me the favor, let's kill him. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Warzone, let's go ahead and come down and look there. Alright, um, go ahead and come on down, Ro. Back at Mr. Bad News here. Now that Calcinite went somewhere. There he is. Yeah, Mr. Bad News, why don't you shoot him in the back? best way to deal with those jokers. Okay, he can't see you. Rowanna, I think you've got a nice shot on this guy. Yeah, two snapshots actually. No line of fire. How about now? No? How about now? One aim shot. Oh, you missed. Okay, but he's got a rifle. That's not much of a problem. Okay. Alright. That's looking okay. Looking okay, these you're still carrying your gear, but you're panicked. Okay, Ellis, who do you see? Ah, Elsonite. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, I didn't even see that guy there. Okay, uh, between these uh, Ellis and Cassie, we have to take this guy down. <laughs> We could have had another instance where Conehead, oh, shot in the side and not dropped. Yeah. Come on forward a little more, Kazzy. I don't want you to miss. Two, two snapshots. One's enough. Wow. Okay, so we killed, man, the alien's in the kitchen, in here cooking up some trouble. Oh, uh, two Calcinites and two... Aquatoids, three Aquatoids right in this area. Okay. Um, which isn't bad. That's actually pretty good. Oh, man. Wow, that's kind of scary. Actually, Warzone. Why 
don't you come stand there and stand like that so that they nobody can get behind you I'm gonna kick it into fast forward and um, when we spot an alien we'll be back Wow, I didn't see that guy either. Jimmy, what do you got for him, man? You got me a... Oh, no! Okay, go down. Is there a chance, Dulakaba, that we can grenade him this turn? 39 time units. I don't, I think you have to turn and throw, so I don't think you can toss to there. No, not enough time units. Oh man, um, okay. Do I have anybody downstairs that can help? Uh, Vasilis, who's not quite trusted right now, unfortunately, due to the fact that he's been, well, under the mind control of the alien scumbags. These, no. Who else is down here that I can move? Oh, Barrett. Yeah. Well, you guys are kind of too far to deal with that guy, though, unfortunately. Alright, Barrett, you're going to help clear the front here of this nightmare of a cruise ship. Oh, gosh. More elevators. Come back over here with Nightmare. Plot will come back up. Barrett, look inside. Alright, Plato, clear. Okay, we'll have you clear this bathroom. I think that's clear. Okay. And, alright, next turn, please. Yeah, it's afraid of that. Oh my gosh, another Galsonite. Oh, good. Those dudes have a lot of movement. Okay, run around. Okay, Deez is shooting at <laughs> Ellis. Oh, man. Ah, yeah, kind of crazy. And fortunately, his... Um, his armor is standing up to all the abuse that Deez is putting out. Alright, Chibi. You, my friend. Yeah, let's get some practice shooting this dude. Fifteen, you got... There we go. Thank you very much. Wow. That was silly. Alright, take a knee. I'm going to have you give us some support down this way if we need it. Alright. Let's get back down into the Kitchen of Terror. The Kitchen of Fear. Yes. War Zone. Calcinite. Shoot. Dead. Dead. Thank you. Man. Nasty little jokers. Okay. You, over here, trying to plink at Miss Rowanna, I don't approve of this. This is not acceptable. This is inappropriate behavior. We don't approve of this in the workplace. Rowan, I want you to just snapshot this joker. Uh, snapshot that joker. Thank you. Gosh. Okay, yeah, and there's... So there's like... This... Oh, yeah. Oh, one of these other creepy crawly... It's almost like one of the... Uh, bunkers, one of the dungeon bunkers in the other episodes. 
in that this is a storeroom it's like got wine bottles and stuff but there's like guys can be hiding here and there's another section of it we need to go check it out hopefully without getting killed um, yeah here's a quick map view of this of this sub oh, so we do have a civilian right there oh no that's not a civilian that's D's under molecular control yeah he's gray the aliens are gray and the civilians are red so actually we have a civilian up on the third floor over yeah wow I didn't I hadn't noticed her when I was walking Chibi around she's floating oh my gosh that's why she's levitating oh freaky wow okay so the fact is we know the game glitches out a little bit which is less than optimal uh, just because of that I'm gonna put a quick save in here be right back I kinda get the feeling that most of the ship most of the activity in the ship is happening here in the core near the near the kitchen where we had a bunch of bad guys we had a couple they can come in and out of the dining room in the kitchen too but also upstairs here in the captain's quarters area so I think I'm gonna move Sean up one more level and take a look out in the command area here nothing nothing there I've also had the last alien hiding here all right so at this point I think we are we are good we don't have any more aliens in sight and I'm pretty sure that there's an alien up in this area just because of the dead civilians and we saw a grenade get tossed there I'm gonna kick it into fast forward and um, when we spot an alien we'll be back until then enjoy some of this song by Adrian von Ziegler called dark electronic music you're next you can find more information in the description below. Okay, we have spotted another alien. Sean has got him up in the top of the ship. And he's actually, yeah, he's right there. It's a, it's a sectoid. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna have my friend do like a bar. Give me a quick scan on this guy. Yes, sir. Use your MC reader. Come across the map, go up two levels, right there. Aquatoid Technician, okay, just a techie, huh? Alright, well, I'm not really interested in what you have to tell me, so if you would, Mr. Sean, let's take this guy down. 
Ooh, missed him. Okay, and couldn't give me name shot. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, then the next turn, please. Ooh, we still got an Aquatoid out there. Just throwing around the molecular control attacks. So, and we have a Calcinite. Okay, he's up there in one of the state rooms. Or in one of the ballrooms. I think he's on the third floor. I think he's over here. Okay, so how do we get in there, Meridian? What's the easiest way? Well, there's an elevator I could walk you around to, except there's a civilian in the way. And I think I want to have you clear this area as well. Mm hmm. The textures on this map, I think, too, also cause the game to kind of run slowly. Um, and the extra, the extra smoke up here is causing it to run slow as well. Uh, there's some civilians around here that haven't died. That's fine, Chips. You guys stay there. Vasily, stay there. Okay, Rowena, I've actually got over here, and I'm going to have her borrow this sonic rifle. Warzone, there's actually a sonic cannon over here, I think. This Aquatoid. No, he's got a... You get a rifle too. Uh, um, one of the things I also forgot to mention was that when I was uh, setting up for this mission, we had enough pistol clips for everybody to carry two. And when I loaded up my soldiers, I thought I had everybody carrying two. Um, but actually what I had was two grenades for each. Although I also had planned to pick up any, um, any weapons we found on the battlefield, so that will come in handy. Now, I don't get this. There's this doorway here in the storeroom, and Mr. Bad News, I've got him opening it, and normally you can come in here, but I can't get it to work at all. And I was wondering if it was glitched or an alien, so I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of explosive technology and see what I can find out. Let's see, so if I prime this... 30. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait till next turn. I'm going to drop it, and then I'm going to walk out here and see what it blows up in this area. Yeah, D's is back under molecular control. That's sad times. Sad times when our friends will betray us so readily. <laughs> nah, I know. It's not your fault. Not your fault. Just MC weak is what it is, and MC weak is just not good. MC Week just allows the aliens to play mind games with you. Sean. Right. So you got the last guy, but we know there's a guy below you. Yeah, and this uh, this civilian survivor, I don't think there's anybody in these rooms here, so come on down, please. That Calcinite had been over here when he panicked. So he had access to the lower elevators. And there's service elevators here that go all the way up and down. Okay. It's actually a pretty strategic location. Um, I think I'm going to have you come this way. Sean, come this Ah! Oh. <laughs> I was going to have him stand right on the calcinite. Nice. Okay, let's take him out, please. Thank you. Okay. Alright, next turn, please. Yeah, so we know that the Calcinite was not the last guy just because we had been MC attacked last turn. So here's another Calcinite. Can you take him out, please? You can shoot him. Not enough time units. Hmm. Okay, let me see who, we, who else we've got that's available to assist. Wow, so Meridian is up here, but he can't exactly get to there quickly. And I don't think he'll be able to assist. What do we have downstairs? Anybody? Nobody. Mm, okay, well, we'll have to see what happens with him. So if you would just set it down 
primed sonic pulsar. Step back. Step back through the, the doors, please. Yeah, and around this corner would be great. Just look that way. Rowanna, Rowanna, come help us, Rowanna. Okay, so we need to get troops over here. Near this elevator bank. And it's Shibnication, stay where you're at. Do like a bus, stay where you're at. Vasilis, you can stay there. Yo, D's, man. Put your guns away. Um, hold that. Take that. You don't want these. You don't want these. Um, we're gonna have to run you to somebody and give them your gun. Alright. Oh, yes. This is a... This is a good way to get to where all that action is. Up two levels here. Step out here and look that way. That way your front armor is facing him, but you're close at hand to help react. Look, no, clear, good, yep. Alright, Ploto, come to the elevator. Ploto. Um, Sean. Six. Or I think you can get out the door and turn around. Good, so your front armor will be facing anybody that tries to come through there. Oh, jeez. Yep, another calcinite right there. Okay. Uh, that doesn't answer the question of last aquadoid, however. Okay, thinking about this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue by finishing this mission on this floor of the cruise ship. And we'll use a judicious amount of fast forward to get between action. Good, okay, next turn. Blew some stuff up. There's, there's an alien. Wow, that was really weird. Dees is panicked, okay. So, where he was, I don't know, but he wouldn't let us get in here and we couldn't shoot him either. Um, actually, I do want to just get a read on him. I want to see if he's hurt at all from that blast. Use the MC Reader, Mr. Dulakaba. His morale is down. He's not hurt at all. Interesting. Okay, yes, Mr. Bad News. Thank you for killing this vermin, exterminating that scum for me. Jeez. And look that way. Yeah, these little nooks and crannies are a pain in the butt but having said all that mr barrett please come in here please face this direction please go oh you can't go up a level that means there's somebody above you please face this direction and go up a level guess who mr aquatoid goo that's who uh-huh um Wait a minute. I had... Wait, 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 wait. Sean? Sean's under control? Because he was standing right here. Aw, oh, dang it. Meridian, come through the door, please. Uh, you can't see him. Now you can see him. Okay, give me a good shot on him. Yeah, not helpful. Dang it. Okay. Barrett doesn't have enough time to get a shot at him. Who else do I have up here? Mer I drip Meridian. Okay. Rowena is about to come around. Yeah, I think D's got under control too. This is just not good. Not good. Ro, not enough time units to go up. Alrighty. Next turn. Ah, Meridian's under attack. Calcinite panicked. D's panicked. Whoa. 
this is just generally not good all the way around. Come back up. Yeah, Sean had been under alien control. Snapshot in, please. Thank you. Since it's calcinite, we've still got an aquatoid somewhere. Does this elevator go up one more level? No, it doesn't. Hmm. So, I'm thinking that the last aliens are going to be over in the control area of the ship. They're going to be up in here somewhere. Okay, so the Aquatoid Navigator is over here somewhere. Okay, this should be the last one, Mr. Bad News. Take them down to China freaking town. Oh, dude. Okay, so this has been a grueling mission, like I said. So, this has been an awesome time with you folks clearing off the top deck of the terror ship. Let us verify, indeed, that it is the last alien. Okay, yes it is. If you'd like to join the ranks of our XCOM team, please leave a comment below. This episode of Rock the Oldies, a retro let's play with Ivan Dogovich, has been brought to you by dogcraft.net, the XCOM subreddit, and Numatic. Viewers like you make this series possible. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is Ivan Dogovich. Cheers!